We have Dr. Cohen here tonight to answer some questions following the infamous bubble board disease. Actually, it's called severe combined immune deficiency. However, it got the bubble boy disease nickname because of David Veter, a young boy who had SCID and lived in a sterile chamber, aka a bubble. <laughs> So why did he live in this um, sterile chamber? Well, your immune system fights off all infections, and this system fails in the individuals born with SCID. Because they are abnormally prone to infections and the exposure to pathogens and diseases, David needed a bubble to protect him from these fatal infections his immune system wasn't able to fight off. So, what exactly is SCID? SCID is the result of an immune system so weak that it is considered almost absent. It is also a group of inherited disorders that can cause abnormalities in the immune system. These disorders can lead to a reduced number of T and B lymphocytes. Basically, in simpler terms, this means SCID is when T and B cells try to fight foreign antigens, but they lose the battle, and then that foreign antigens attach to their cells and destroy the immune system. <laughs> So basically, people who have SCID have a de defect in their immune system that leaves them vulnerable to potentially deadly infections? Exactly. So how do you get SCID? SCID is inherited genetically. It has an excellent recessive pattern of inheritance. So is there only one type of SCID? <laughs> no, actually there are at least nine different types. Some examples of the different types are adenosine, Dominus deficiency, Amen syndrome, and X-linked severe combined immune deficiency. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so what is the life expectancy of someone with SCID? It is very short because SCID patients are usually affected by severe bacterial, viral, or fungal infections early in life and often present with lung disease, chronic diarrhea, and failure to fight infections. Early diagnosis of SCID is important because without early treatment, children with this disease aren't likely to live past the age of two. Well, how can you tell if someone has SCID? Classic signs of SCID include an increased risk to infection and failure to thrive as a result of infections. SCID can be identified before the baby is born, either by testing cells from the placenta or by testing a sample of the fluid surrounding the baby. Most babies are diagnosed in the first six months of life. Well, is there any cure to SCID? Treatment for SCID can be found through the bone marrow transplant and, and gene therapy. It is actually the first human illness treated by a human gene therapy. Well, why a bone marrow transplant? That specific transplant replaces diseased blood-forming cells with healthy ones. The transplant used for SCID is an allogenic transplant. The cells find their way into the bone marrow, where they start making healthy and what healthy red and white blood cells and platelets. These new white blood cells will begin to fight infections. So, how common is SCID? It is present in around 1 in 100,000 births, but in Australia especially, it is at about 1 in 65,000 births. Interesting statistic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So can SCID only affect humans? It actually can also affect the Arabian horse. In horses, the condition remains a fatal disease, but the animal dies due to an infection within the first four to six months of their life. However, carriers who themselves are not affected by the disease can be detec detected with a DNA test. Careful breeding practices can avoid the risk of an affected horse being born. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have here today. Thank you, Dr. Cohen, for joining us. My pleasure, and please check out the Immune Deficiency Foundation. Donations are appreciated to help fund the research for this terrible disease. <laughs> well, you guys have the TV show? Yeah, I know. Deficiency Foundation. Donations are appropriated. Appre <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Cohen, for joining us. My pleasure. And please check out them. <laughs> check out them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So is so can SCID only affect animals? 
I'm <laughs> lung disease, chronic diarrhea, and failure. What? It's chronic. Chronic? That's chronic? <laughs> chronic. Chronic. <laughs> okay, bubble. Okay, what? Wait, I need lymphocytes? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So we just chop. Lymphocytes. That's good. We just chop. Should we chop it? <laughs> antigens attached to each other <laughs> basically in similar terms <laughs> <It's> a- <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> we have that oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to use that word <laughs> you were staring at me the whole time I'm not going to feel it leggings on it's okay. About one in sixty-five thousand births. About one in sixty-five thousand births.